Welcome to an introduction to accounting and to admin soft accounts. In this short podcast we are going to show you how to add someone to the payroll. It's a feature of admin soft that in fact it comes with the payroll. So we go up and we find the payroll tab. We click on that and you can see we have a drop down menu and the one that we will select obviously is employee details and our screen comes up and now of course what we're looking for is where to add a new employee and here we are it says new so we click on new and you can immediately see that it's going to highlight in pink certain areas these areas are the minimum that you need so we will say that our employee reference is going to be gump and it's going to be miss Gump. Miss out middle name, first name. We will call Forestina. And we now need an address. Here we are. 123 Woodside Grove, Newtown. And a postcode. telephone number and we necessary you can do home emails and so on you can see you've got quite a few other things you can have here but we do not need to put in the status where we said miss so it could be unknown or it could be single we'll assume it's single and the sex is female date of birth is required so 606-1991 there we are date started we will say is today and I'm doing the 24th of October we are date finished as my position reports to holidays it's a new employee no holidays accumulated so I'm going to save that part by clicking on save that was a quick click down there I should add a next of kin and we're just going to put in a name and a phone number and if we have a look at the working week we've got this person for Estina down for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, so 40, a 40 hour week which we would say is fine we don't have any letters or communications at the moment that we want to add holidays absences no sick pay or whatever accumulated at the moment the pay details will need to be put on the payrolls so we add as monthly paid uh, we can now have an hourly rate of 12.50 no overtime rates, a tax code of 567L we will say national insurance is A rate, so I missed that one out and working week, month one, no we're not taxing on a month one basis and the payment method we've got to add and we will say that we pay by check uh, so we don't need details for a bank sort code or anything else and at the moment I think that's going to be it so we save again payment history there shouldn't be any so that's ok so save ok save any changes made it asks us again and now we need to go up to the payroll once more and look for a list of employees the output is just going to be to view and we can see that we now have three employees Gil Gump and Timothy so those then are our three employees so we've added an employee in admin soft accounting thank you